Hello everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show about how I go about forming the master rib blocks, the cutting rib blocks, and the, the forms for the actually forming the ribs for my bear hawk patrol. I start off by taking the master drawing, number drawing number four of the, the full size template for the rib for the bear hawk patrol. I cut this out um, very precisely to the line, just inside the black line, and adhere that to a piece of MDF with a piece with some low-tack spray mount adhesive. So once that, once, once that is adhered to the piece of MDF, I then trace around the edge of the Mylar template onto the MDF. And I also transfer all of my specific lines, the spar, the aileron spar, the flap spar, the rear spar, um, all the jig pin holes, all the lightning holes that are, that are on here for the center rib and such onto this piece of MDF. I then remove the Mylar template and take the piece of MDF, in this case I was using half inch MDF, take it to the bandsaw and cut out close to the line but still leaving the line on the piece of MDF. I then take this piece to um, a, um, a sander. I used a disc sander. In this case I was using a 10 inch disc on my table saw and I sanded it out very precisely to the line. Once I had this, I went through and using a quarter inch bit, I cut out all the jig pin holes that I would use and the reference holes for the center rib lightning holes. Um, I left the other lightning holes for the, the aileron and the flap for later, but I also did cut out the nose rib, the nose rib masters. After I then created this, this master form of the entire rib, I then went about setting up and creating the other masters for each of the individual ribs. I was creating a master for my nose rib, my center rib, the false rib, the flap rib, and the aileron ribs. And so with that I created, I was going to create the master. So with the nose rib, what I did is I took this piece here, um, put it on top of a piece of 3 quarter inch MDF, I drilled through the jig pin holes and used some quarter inch dowel pins. I would use these to put this through the piece of MDF and I had taken a, I basically rough cut a piece of MDF so it was a, um, an eighth inch to a quarter inch larger than this size. I would attach it to this with jig pins and I took it to my router using a template bit which is basically a flush cutting bit with a, with a um, pilot bearing on the top, so it followed the outside edge of this master jig. I was then able to get an exact copy of this, of this master jig onto my now, nose, my now master nose rib jig. I also did that for the center rib, the false rib, the aileron, and the flap. And so now I had master, master jigs for each, of those, for each of those pieces, as you see here. Once I had the masters done, I located all the holes again and made sure I drilled through all the holes. And I took it to another piece of MDF, rough cut it to size, and now I was going to create my cutting jigs. So I took this, the center rib master, or the nose rib master, and I then placed it on the piece of MDF that I was going to use and then using a washer that I had set up, and actually what I did is I took a piece of, of clear acrylic plastic and I happened to have access to a laser cutter and I actually cut it out so it was like a washer that had a radius there of, of, of 9 sixteenths. And what I was able to do taking that 9 16 washer, very similar. What I was able to do by taking that plastic 9 16 washer that I made, and right now I'll just show it with this metal washer, I was able to go around the master jig and draw a line that was 9 16 of an inch wider than the master form jig. This gave me the flange that would be needed to then bend over to create the flange around the edge of the, jig, of the rib. Once I had that piece cut it out, cut out, 
I then had the cutting jig. And as you can see from this, lining up the jig pin holes, I have about a 916 edge all the way around, around that rip, and with the cutouts shown as they are on the plans. Because on the plans you have some of those ribs that are the full length, and because of the, the strips on the cap strips on the spar, some of the nose ribs will be an eighth inch shorter and some of them will be a quarter inch shorter. So I didn't have to make three different jigs. I used um, some pieces of hardwood that then I would attach on the back of these. So I cut, I cut the master cutting jig down a quarter of an inch and then attached a piece of quarter inch and a piece of eighth inch hardwood strips on the end. So I could then use this to create all three, all three of the ribs without having to make different forms or without having to cut them later. I did this for both the nose rib and the center rib with separate pieces here. So once I've created, once I created the first cutting, the cutting jig for the rib, I then created a second one so I could sandwich the pieces of aluminum between these and cut this out with the router. I'll show you that. I'll show you that cutout next. <laughs> 